Hello and welcome to Summary of All You Need to Know About the Stoat by John McGurhan. I'll explain the meaning of this story as it appears in Stories of Ourselves, the University of Cambridge International Examinations Anthology of Short Stories in English. I'll begin with some context about the author of this story before explaining the plot in a nutshell. I'll explain the characters that you should be aware of in the story, then I'll highlight the important themes that you should consider when studying this text. Bear in mind that we do have a Stories of Ourselves course that goes into depth on these stories, so do make sure you also sign up for our course. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to context, John McGurhan was born in 1934 and he died in 2006. He is a native of Dublin, Ireland, and his lyrical portraits of Ireland and its denizens earned him a reputation as one of the country's most eminent writers of his generation. McGurhan grew up in the northwest part of Ireland and he was the first of seven children in his family. He was devoted to his mother, a former teacher, and devastated by her death from cancer when he was nine. The remainder of his youth was marked by hardship. For a time, he and his siblings lived with a brutish father, a police sergeant and veteran of Ireland's 1919-1921 War of Independence, and McGurhan resisted his father's determination to pull him out of school so that he might learn a trade. As a young man, he taught in school and took classes at the University College of Dublin. John McGurhan in 1957 graduated and began writing short stories while still keeping his teaching job. However, he was forced out of his job after his second novel, The Dark, caused a sensation and a controversy when it appeared in 1965. McGurhan spent the next few years living abroad and later settled down on a piece of land in County Leitrim in Ireland. For the remainder of his life, McGurhan farmed, wrote, and took the occasional visiting professorship at universities. So now let's look at the story of the Stoat. Now the story takes place near Strand Hill, a coastal village in Ireland where a widowed teacher vacations with his son. When the son is out golfing, he stumbles upon a dying rabbit that had been hunted down by a stoat. The stoat slithers away, but the boy in an act of mercy kills the rabbit and takes it with him all the while being followed by the stoat. The boy takes the rabbit to the father, who doubts whether the evening guest, Miss McCabe, will enjoy the rabbit. He then goes into a memory, a flashback, as the boy remembers how the father asks for his son's approval, so for his approval, to remarry, and afterwards sent out ads to widowed women who sought companionship with him. The father, ridiculed for searching, still had many people, many women, replying to his ad. Now, during this time, the son grew closer and closer with the uncle, the father's brother, and was planning to live with him instead of his father, as he found his father dull and his uncle's ideology and morals better. Now, the story then skips to the son and Miss McCabe meeting, which, despite not going very smoothly, ended with the son actually liking her and approving of his father's marriage, which he claims he would have done so even if he'd not liked Miss McCabe. Now, Miss McCabe had rheumatism and the son's father needed a walking stick. Though old, they sought companionship for another, but that very next day, after dinner, they had the rabbit. Miss McCabe had a mild heart attack in the salt baths. Now, the boy's father, now revealed to be an escapist, just like his son, immediately packs his things to leave as he doesn't want to suffer the pain and loss of losing another woman in his life. The son, wanting to leave his boring life with the father, takes the chance to leave for his uncles. And the story ends with a passage on how parenting is a complicated activity. In a way, it suggests that the father in the story has come short in teaching his son to actively and properly pursue the challenges and pain of life. In the end, the stoat killing the rabbit is an allegory of life. The stoat is death and the rabbit is people. You can try to escape the stoat, you can try to escape death but it will continue to pursue you until there's no other end than death. Now, when it comes to the characters, the first is the boy. So the boy, who's the story's protagonist, is a student pursuing medicine in university. We learn he has a close relationship with his uncle, whose path he followed in spite of his own father wanting him to work as a banker. We learn that he and his father have a somewhat distant relationship. His mother died, and his father, who's now older, wants to just remarry simply for companionship. 
The other character is the father, so he's a 52-year-old school teacher and a widower who's somewhat discontent with his job. However, he'll probably not leave as he's a comfortable position as a principal in this school. However, we learn that the father is quite lonely and he decides to put out an ad in a newspaper to find a woman to remarry for companionship in old age. However, he has very high standards and many women that he meets from this ad don't really meet this criteria and he's somewhat envious of the relationship that his son has with his own brother and he actively seeks his son's approval. The other character is the uncle. So the uncle has a very close relationship with the boy, the protagonist. The setting also when the two go for a long walk after dinner depicts a beautiful nature showing the uncle of the relationship or rather showing the nature of the relationship between the son and the uncle. Their relationship really blossoms gently. Now the fact that the protagonist chooses to become a doctor like a surgeon uncle, going against his father's wishes of becoming a banker, shows the increasing closeness and also the reason of the distance the father has with the uncle. Yet the uncle doesn't actually feel that much empathy for his own brother. He mocks the boy's father for seeking a companion and putting an ad to look for women in the newspaper. Therefore, the uncle's relationship with his brother is quite strange, which probably pushed the father to look for someone because their familial ties were broken. Also, we learn that the uncle is somewhat boastful and arrogant. He wants to essentially be a bigwig in a small town. The other important character is the stoat. It's described thus, it's slithered like a snake to quote from the passage. It has sneaky, cunning, slithering connotations. This reminds us as readers of the tale of Adam and Eve and their sly encounter with the snake and this biblical connotation emphasizes the manipulative nature of human beings. Also, the stoat felt ownership over the prey, the rabbit, as it continued to, and to quote from the passage, follow the rabbit still and the boy twice glimped the stoat behind him. Now this is a really primitive scene of prey versus predator and this is further emphasised with the jungle setting of this story. Thus the stoat acts as a late motif for death and the stoat marks down his prey and like death this stoat is inescapable. Now when it comes to themes of the story the first is of death. So the stoat killing the rabbit is a symbol of death and the protagonist's death and mother as well as Miss McCabe's heart attack shows death is ever present. The father of this boy fears the prospect of death and thus decides to end his relationship abruptly with Miss McCabe as he fears the spectre of death and the end of the story is also interesting as McGurhan repeats the beginning paragraph. Also, this repetition may be important as McGurhan could be suggesting that just as the stoat will kill again, so too symbolically will the protagonist's father. Just as the stoat has killed the rabbit, the protagonist's father has killed off his relationship with Miss McCabe and he may do so with any other woman that doesn't match his strict criteria that he set out. The other theme is selfishness. So the protagonist's father, on hearing that Miss McCabe had a heart attack, decides to abandon any notions he had of getting engaged to Miss McCabe. It's as though the protagonist's father doesn't want to care for Miss McCabe should the need arise and this may be important as it suggests that the protagonist's father is being selfish, thinking only of his own feelings rather than on how Miss McCabe must feel. The other theme is that of honesty. The father is not honest with Miss McCabe. He doesn't take responsibility for his actions. It would be more appropriate for him to be honest with Miss McCabe rather than simply abandoning her without any type of explanation. Not only is the protagonist's father acting selfishly, but he's also avoiding having to tell Miss McCabe as to why he no longer has any interest in seeking her or getting engaged. His, lack, his actions lack any type of honesty. Another theme is that of rejection. So though the protagonist's father is looking for companionship, he also seems to be looking for perfection, yet he is not able to offer this himself. As a man, he's flawed. He's rejected and abandoned Miss McCabe for no other reason apart from the fact that she had a heart attack. The standard that the protagonist's father has set, and which many women have not been able to attain in all possibility, may not actually be realistic, and the protagonist's father himself has very little to offer, yet he rejects most of the women he meets. So that's all. If you found the summary video useful, do make sure you sign up for our Stories of Ourselves course. But also check out our website, which is www.firstreetutors.com, where you can find plenty of other English revision worksheets, model answers and online courses covering all the major syllabuses, including Edexcel, AQA and IGCSE. Thank you so much for watching.